My God, isn't it hot? <laughs> I've had to change, I've had to put a shirt on. I've took my T-shirt off and put my shirt on. I've come back to the lockup to sort out some clothes and that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm driving around with all these jumpers and hoodies and stuff in my van. I really don't need to do that. And after all, they do weigh quite a lot. Even stuff like this dry robe that I'm probably never gonna use it ever again, especially after Becky took the mickey out of me when I was using it. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you'll have to head over to her channel. Um, <clears throat> Becky's gone back to her parents to pick up some bits and pieces for her van, i.e. her fridge. to want to work out where the kitchen's going to be situated in her van. So to do that, I thought it was probably a good idea if she went and picked up her fridge. So while she's picking up her fridge, I've come here to get rid of some more stuff into my lockup. And I've noticed something. I want to share this with you. My roof to my lockup is actually in the sun. And just as I say that, a cloud comes over. <laughs> anyway, the sun is hitting the roof of my lockup, so that means there's a good possibility that I could actually put solar panels on the roof and uh, turn my little lockup into a little micro workshop. Quite looking forward to doing that, but first, as you all know, I need to build out Rebecca's van. Oh, look, as soon as I put my camera back up there, the sun comes out again. There you go, there's the sun on the roof of my lock up stroke possible micro workshop or as some people would like to call man cave <laughs> right let's get rid of some more of this crap in my van yeah so many jumpers in here so many towels really makes no sense at all especially now i've got a lock up really close by rather than in kent right anyway enough babbling let's get this stuff out of the van don't need that anymore either. Let's go and get, let's go and go get my most favourite thing of all time that I've recently discovered. My favourite thing of all time is my t felt air fryer with <laughs> a rotisserie. And we're going to put that down here. I'm going to leave it underneath my bed down there until such time that I've got to remove my wood burner and replace my wood burner with this because I think this is going to be much more useful than my wood burner. Oh don't worry the wood burner is going to go in there. So air fryer is back in the van. <laughs> that rhymed. Well, I'll better put that down on the floor. Gonna go crashing down otherwise. That's a souvenir t-shirt, so I'll probably never wear that. There you go. A couple of pairs of shorts, definitely be wearing those. And that is all that weight saved by just taking it out of the van and putting it in my lockup. And I want to say thank you to Becky because she gave me these drawers to put stuff in. So when I'm in the lockup, putting my clothes away, I've now got a chest of drawers that I can put stuff in. How good is that? Stuff like these really heavy jeans. Waterproof trousers. Definitely don't need those. And all these long sleeve shirts. It's a scarf and a hat. I mean, a scarf and a hat. Really? Some jogging bottoms. These used to be quite tight on me. Incredible. I used to be that big. I can't believe that. What's that? Now you're probably wondering, why am I bothering? Why am I taking all this stuff out of my van? What is the purpose of this? Well, the simple answer to that is, I'm trying to make my van as light as I possibly can. Because after all, the lighter the van, the less fuel you're going to use less strain it is on the transmission and the engine and all that good stuff and because my lockup is so close to where I'm based now it makes perfect sense just to take everything out put in my lockup stuff that I don't use on a daily basis can go in there there's no need for me to drive around with it anymore that is why I'm so grateful I found this lockup here in Stroud it just gives me that opportunity to unload my van and put stuff that I, I really don't need on a daily basis away. Right, what else have I got? Oh, I think that's about it. 
probably some other stuff in here. Toilet roll, need toilet roll. That's important, that can go in the toilet. I mean, it's even the little things like my steel toe cap work boots. These are the boots I used to wear when I was a truck driver. Probably won't ever drive a truck ever again, but <laughs> if my YouTube channel crashes and I'm forced to go back to work, then uh, they'll come in handy, I'm sure. But <laughs> there's no need for me to drive around with these actually in my van. I think I made my point. Ah, there's my shorts. Ah, what are they doing in the underwear? Big, thick socks. We definitely don't need those. There's the other one to that one. That can definitely go in there. Huge pair of socks. We don't need that. Right, so I'm going to hot foot it back to the barn. Get me paddling pool out. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Oh my god, it feels so strange driving this van when it's like this, when it's really light. Because it's all light and bouncy and airy. <laughs> and I only have to touch the throttle a little bit and whoom, she's gone. It makes so much difference having less stuff in the van. So just try and bear that in mind if you're building out a camper van. The weight really is important. It's so important. Choose lightweight materials when you're building your van. Try and just keep things as light and as minimal as possible. Because trust me, by the time you put all your stuff in there, your clothes, all your toys, um, yeah, things do get a bit heavy, that's for sure. And I've got to concentrate on where I'm going. I'm at a roundabout. I'm not really sure about the legalities of driving and vlogging at the same time. Oops, I forgot to indicate, sorry mate. Because that sort of thing is what happens when you're not concentrating. You forget to indicate at roundabouts and that is really annoying. Especially if you're only turning left and somebody's waiting to join the roundabout. Right, where am I going? I think I was supposed to go straight on at that roundabout. <laughs> Another reason not to vlog and drive at the same time. You end up going the wrong way. Right, I'll see you when I get to the barn, <laughs> if I ever get there. <laughs> I've just got back to the barn and look who it is. It's Becky. How's that for timing? <laughs> I suppose I should move out of the way then. Uh, Looking very summery. Thank you. Yeah, you've got lots of stuff. Yeah. Just... in your fridge, that's the main thing. Yeah. I just bought as much as I could. So we have lunch? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. some lunch while we wait for them to sort themselves out. Yeah, and I randomly I picked up lemons and limes out of the fridge. Because <laughs> nice. I thought I'd like some nice cold water with lemon and lime. Right, okay, we can do that. I've got ice in the fridge. Oh yeah, okay, let's do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a beer, you have your lemon and lime. <laughs> We're going to go see if Justin's still here. Have you got a key to the van? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was trying to quickly look see if Justin's still here or not. One of our patrons, Justin, is leaving because he's off to Poland. And he's going to finish his van build there. His um, his partner was offered a really good job. She couldn't turn it down, so they've decided to go to Poland to live um, and build out his van there with his girlfriend. Oh, he's still here then. Yeah, Justin, he's still here. Yeah, he's still here and not, not quite packed up, ready to go. I think he's rushed off his feet, as you can <laughs> see. <laughs> Enjoying a cup of tea. Love the bike rack. We'll, we'll, um, we'll have to show everyone how this bike rack works. Can I have a look in your van? Just give me an update. Yeah, yeah, go on oh, in. Let's have a look in. Go through the passenger door. The passenger door. Right. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Right. There's an update on Aidy's van. He's had a few issues, he's had to rearrange a few things, but take a look at this. This is what happens when a, um, a joiner builds a camper van. Look at that. And in here we have, oh, we have to open this all the way because it catches otherwise. 
Yes, I know, it looks like a wardrobe, but... Oh, I don't know what that was. If we allow this to open all the way, look at that, that's his shower. What a fantastic idea. And of course then this door now gives him privacy. It's got lights flashing in there. Very nice, it's got a rain shower. You might show everyone your undies. <laughs> there we go. Look at the kitchen. That's quality that is. That's looking great, AD. Thank you, fella. Really good. Absolutely amazing. This little draining board there, cover. It doubles up as a draining board. Certainly puts Mary to shame. And again, I hit my head. I'm always hitting my head in camper vans. I think the next van I build is going to be a huge box truck, and I'll probably still hit my bloody head. <laughs> right, we're going to have some lunch. All right, fella. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, see you later. Cheers. I just use the doorways. So, Lauren has got some very important advice when it comes to fitting windows. What was the advice you recommend people do? The, the advice was don't be a dickhead. Please. Measure, measure, measure again, and measure again. So basically, uh, Lauren has cut the hole out a little bit too big, but not to the point where it's unsalvageable. So what I've done, I've marked it with masking tape, cut around the glass so that we know exactly where we're at. And you can see there in the corners, very tight, this corner. This corner is very worrying. But at least it's <laughs> not too big. But at least the hole isn't completely too big. So, uh, Hopefully we can salvage it. Try do this all in one go. She's fine. <clears throat> that looks good from inside. Yeah? Yeah. Just jiggle it like that and it'll go through. It's coming towards me. Yeah. Is it yeah. oozing out more wow. now? Yeah. Freak them up, got away with it. Right, just peel some of this masking tape off. And we should have a nice salvaged finish. What's with the string? I don't know, that's what Lauren put there. I stuff it very well. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't pretty. Just, just, well, at least uh, it's not a big hole now. Yeah. That was a lucky escape. There you go. Right. It's a nice. It's a nice looking thing though. Design wise. They've yeah. done a good job with that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's very aesthetically pleasing. That's a bit neater. There you are. That goes in there. That's your solar panel. And then this plug, although it's 240 volt, but it is 240 volt. This is going to plug into the 240 volt outlet on the Blue Eti, and this connects up to a 12 volt transformer here. And then the 12 volt transformer powers the fuse board. And that's how we're going to get around only having a 10 amp 12 volt outlet. We're simply going to use a 12 volt transformer, the 240 volt to 12 volt transformer, and that's 30 amps, which will give Becky. Loads of power for a 30 amps. There you go, that's all plugged in. So now, simple. oh yeah, I told you, it's simple. Really simple Lovely. to change your power packs. I like that, it's literally three plugs. Yeah. Solar in, AC in, yep. and DC in. That's it, you got it. <laughs> that see? actually makes sense to me now. Yeah, see how easy that is. I love it, yeah. yeah. That's what I want, that's what I like. And now it's if you simple. download the app. Which I've done you can control it, you can switch it on and off using the app and you can also monitor the battery yes. and you can monitor how much power you've got coming in, how much power you've got going out and if anything was to go wrong with that 
I can just simply just out. unplug it and plug another one in. Yeah. Really easy. It's multi power pack use, like you say. Yeah. It doesn't matter what. Yeah, you that have. 12 volt transformer using that, you can use any power pack. Does it work though? Let's try, shall we? Yeah. Of course it does. Interesting though, because look, you There's have a the lights. fan. 12 volt lights. Oh yeah. See, as soon the, as you put that on with the other power pack, the fan comes on. Right. That's quiet. Yes, that's better. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah, because I don't... I, I've lost that then, haven't I? <laughs> for me, quiet at night. Yeah, it's yours. To, well, at night there'll be no solar and you have your lights off, so the fan... the fridge will be on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, fridge, we've got to do that next. Yeah. Connect that up and that is going to get connected up to the 10 amp, 12 volt outlet. Which is the cigarette lighter? Yeah. Okay, but we can't do that until we figure out where the plug is Yeah, where it's going to go, yeah. yeah. So that's the whole point of this. So the, the, the fridge is going to go into the 12 volt 10 amp outlet, whereas the rest of the van, all the 12 volts is going to be coming off of the inverter. So when Rebecca leaves the van, she can switch off the inverter, therefore turning all the 12 volt off in her van, except the fridge. The fridge. So the fridge will be the only thing that remains alive because she won't turn off the DC supply or the DC outlet. So if she wants to leave the van, she can leave the fridge on and her laptop carry, will carry on charging if she's got it plugged in, but the rest of the van will be switched off. Sounds good to me. Yeah. 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 And by the way, this isn't a sponsored video. This is purely for your entertainment and your information. And my sanity. We're not getting paid by Blue Eddy to make this video. I'm just trying to show you that these things are good, that the Blue Eddy is a good product. Yeah. And any is a good product, but once you get to know the different types, you get your favourites. Yeah. Blue Eddy wins for me. Right, what's next? Work uh, out where the fridge is going to go. Yeah. But we'll save that for another video. Yeah, I think we're going to do that fresh another yeah. day. I think I'll need an afternoon nap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too fussed about doing anything today. Okay, well, there you go, that's pretty much our day. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Becky's channel too. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. I will. Ta-da for now. Bye. Have a good weekend.